hello welcome to yemi's kitchen today i'm going to be making my first native okra soup it's called elastic bomb which is uh, mixed together okra uh this is a favorite in my house and i'm getting ready to cook the weekend dinner so let's go to my past while i cook this delicious elastic bomb okra soup the best in the whole world So these are the ingredients I'm going to be using for my okra soup. Ilala Sipo. These are my okras. I'm using the frozen okra, which I'm using four packs of it. To garnish it, I'm going to be using spinach. This is my chopped spinach. It's frozen. This is what I can get at this time. I'm going to be using smoked turkey, which I'm going to cut into pieces. And most of all, if you don't have goat meat, don't bother to cook this stuff. You can use anything, I'm just plain. But goat meat brings the flavor of everything else. So this is my goat meat. I'm going to use blue goat meat. And I'm going to be using my Colosa shrimp, which is peeled and deveined. You know, then those things I'm going to be need, I'm going to be using a banana pepper, which I've chopped, depending on how you want it. My chopped onion, my crayfish, my uh, chicken bouillon powder, my locust beans, salt to your taste, and palm oil. I'm going to take the meat to the stove. I'm going to boil it with onions and some peppers and some seasoning to make the uh, goat meat soft and to ch chop it into pieces the way I like it. And I'm going to chop my turkey. Wash the goat meat and I put my my onion, my banana pepper in it. This is what we have in the United States. That's a full spoon of chicken seasoning. And I'm gonna put just a regular spoon of salt. That should be enough. Let it cook in its juice and that's it for now. So I'm boiling the salt out of this turkey. I don't like any salt. Too much salt. Watching my sodium intake. Now I'm going to blend the okra. It's been chopped to smaller pieces. It doesn't have to be, have to be too smooth. The government is done. Now the turkey is boiled. Okay. Now I've decanted the, the water, the stock into the pot. So the goat meat is decanted and here comes the stock. This is my goat meat stock that I'm using as a base for the soup. I'm going to add the crayfish. Onion. You don't have to use this. Pepper. Don't forget, I put pepper in the goat meat when I was steaming it, so not too much pepper. Locust beans. Then I'm adding my palm oil.
Good Smith. And here's my small turkey that's been cut into small pieces. I'm going to cover it to boil for a while. Then I'm adding my okra just like this. Oops. While it's boiling, I have a chopped spinach here, which I'll be adding to it. I'm folding it in Then lastly my colossal shrimps mm -mm -mm, Smelling nice in here I'm going to fold all this in. It's really smelling nice here. I can't wait to place and eat this. While I'm completing my okra soup, I'm going to quickly make my pounded yam. I'm making it with ola ola pounded yam powder. The water is boiled. Now I'm going to put the powder, the pounded yam powder in. So you see, this is how you make your pounded jam. Quickly folding it in. You want to make sure that it's um, smooth. You want a smooth consistency. So it takes like 10 minutes to do all this. So I finished folding it in and completing the pounded jam. So you see me, I already um, put this pounded jam in a foil sheet and already in a cooler. That's how I'm gonna serve it. I, I want the pounded jam to be hot. So I put them in foil paper and you can see them that I put in the cooler just to put in the table. It's a family style dinner tonight. Wow. The pande jam is completed and now the soup is completed as you can see. Now let me serve. My family is hungry and I'm going to serve putting them on the table. It's a family dinner and it is the family style dinner. Everybody serve themselves. So you can see that it's time to eat. Everybody's plating their food, yum, yum. The men are eating now. Wow, the okra is done. This is perfectly made. It's so nice and delicious and yummy. I hope you tried this recipe at home. If you try it at, at all, make sure you tag me on my Instagram, TikTok at yemis.kitchen. It's a pleasure having you here in my channel again. I hope to see you in my next content. Don't forget, happiness is a choice. Choose to be happy. Love. Yeah, Miss Kitchen. Mwah. Love you. Happiness is your choice. And do you. See you in my next episode.